Welcome to the Collective Energies for October 11th through 13th, 2024. If you are trying to decide which item on your to-do list to work on on Friday, choose the one that's the biggest challenge. The one that's probably been weighing on you for quite a while now. Maybe you've been putting it off because it's hard and you don't want to do it, but the universe will probably kick you in the butt if you don't at least get started on it now. This energy just won't allow us to goof off or avoid responsibility, but at least it will reward us for rolling up our sleeves and taking action. People's energy levels are pretty high during this period, so that really helps. And this really helps to get you moving to do what needs to be done, even when it's a really big challenge. Innovative approaches can be helpful for tackling long-standing problems. Now, if you've been like doing um, what you've been doing hasn't been working, try using your creativity to switch it up, and things may suddenly shift in the right direction to create the breakthrough you've been seeking. It may be then for the weekend. Um, yeah, it may be the weekend, but. The energy is that's with us on Saturday, especially, is ideal for doing anything that requires analysis, working with data, making revisions or editing documents or plans. If you've got to sign a contract or write a technical document or do any kind of serious research, Saturday is your day. It'll be easy to identify crucial information and find errors and fix mistakes because our intellect is really razor sharp on Saturday. However, on Saturday afternoon, you may wanna take a break uh, to play with the kids or go on a hike or a walk or meet up with friends and play soccer or some other sport. Too much sitting will make you restless and irritated today. So do yourself a favor and do something that'll get you out and about or at least moving. Even if it's just baking cookies or changing the oil in your car or cleaning, something you've gotta get moving as well as do that analytical mental work on Saturday. Both energies are, are important. Then Saturday night's energy is extreme in the sense that you'll probably either feel super proud of yourself if you've gotten all the stuff that you wanted to do done, or possibly you may feel pretty upset with yourself if you kind of lazed off all day and didn't do anything. Pat yourself on the back by all means if you've made the most of today's energy, but remember that bragging is never attractive. And if you are at the other extreme, remember that beating yourself up really solves nothing and you know, the weekend's not over yet, so you've still got time. Then on Sunday, you we start out with really lively, upbeat energy that's probably going to lift your mood. It's almost guaranteed. If you've been waiting for the perfect day to, for, for a product launch or for a publicity campaign, Sunday's energy really sets you up for success, for launching something big, doing something big. It's also a great day for getting together with... Um, with your friends and doing a little improv if you're in a band or putting on some music and just dancing your heart out. Surprising your sweetie with a spontaneous romantic dinner will go over very, very nicely on Sunday night. Or if you don't have a partner, it's also a great night to get together with friends and just hang out with your tribe. Let go with the flow, let things happen and you'll probably be surprised with how much fun you'll have. So that's your energy update for this weekend. This is Eagle Condor Astrology. If you want to stay on top of the astro vibes, keep following me. And if you want to find out how those vibes affect you personally or affect your business, get in touch with me. My email is info at eaglecondorcenter.org. That's info at eaglecondorcenter.org. Have a great weekend and I'll catch you next time.